How can we cope and support others doing it tough? How can we maintain a positive attitude? Ooh. How many ways can you skin a cat? There's an Australian <laughs> saying, how many ways can you skin a cat? Um, there's, there's many ways we can support each other. And, but you know what? I think there's, a, there's an aspect of when somebody's doing it tough, you reach out and you connect with that person. But I think what we're missing more at this time is somebody that's connecting with me all the time consistently over time when I'm doing it well. That way, when, when I need it, I trust that person because they were consistent as a friend. So what we're lacking is consistency. You want to be useful to someone? Be consistent and keeping in touch with that person over time. Don't be lazy with your, with your WhatsApp. I see a lot of people that are really lazy with their words. Have you send them a message? They never even answer that message. What do you think is going to happen if they get in a tough situation? If they haven't answered my previous messages? How am I going to know about it to begin with? But, you know, so, so build that relationship over time. Keep in touch with people. Send them little memes. Send them little jokes. Anything that lets them know that you're thinking of them then the day when they run into trouble and you're contacting them, it won't feel weird. That's the first thing you need to do. This works in workplaces too. Mm -hmm. If you're a boss, don't worry about the person only when they're stressed out and almost burnt out. That's too late. <laughs> too late. Ask them how they are, know about their drives, their motivations, their family, their kids, all the time. So they know that you care. And guess what happens? If they know you care, they usually, they usually perform for you because that's what we do as social beings. If you're, if you're a nice person, I will forgive you many, many errors. So how can we be useful to another human being? Be real, be human, be authentic, and stay connected. Stay connected with each other. That's the number one thing. Now, on a practical level, if somebody's doing it tough, is it a man or is it a woman? It's very important. Mental health is not done the same in both genders. Is it a man or is it a woman? I don't want to get into this discussion, what's a woman or what's a man. That's not what we're doing here. But is it a man or is it a woman? Are they processing things in a more feminine way? Do they love to talk about their problems? Or are they processing things in more in a male way? in which we don't like to talk about our problems, we just want to know someone's got our back. One is a more talkative way, one is a more physical way. That's, that's also who is talking to who. Is, is the friend that is doing it tough, is it a male and you're a woman? Different rules. If it's a male to a male, different rules. If it's a male to a woman, different rules. Right. And the actual fact that we encourage if there's a male in trouble, you get another male to talk to that, that person. If it's a female that is in trouble, get another female to talk to that person if possible. Um, if you're men approaching a man, can you invite that guy out and about? Movement is very important for talking between men. Very important. It's not the length of the conversation. It's the messages that are being sent in that conversation. So can you invite them to, if they like golf, golf, paddle, paddle. Can you go for a walk? Can you go for a run? Can you go together to the gym? Can you do something physical together? If somebody's anxious and you know they're in trouble, go and lift some weight with them. Lifting weight is fantastic for anxiety. It's very hard to be anxious if you're lifting a 50 pound weight. <laughs> very, very hard. Somehow it leaves you. <laughs> But so that's a good beginning, you know, get movement, get exercise, get something physical, especially for men. For women, invite them out, out for a coffee, for a meal, you know, and, and start the conversation. If it's, a, if it's a sensitive matter, then try to raise it in an indirect way. But, you know, women are usually pretty good at that anyway, raising things in an indirect way. So I hope that's, that's useful. Excellent. 
Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.